Good, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know when you're watching this, but hi to uh, Virginia Roslers, and uh, uh, Grandpa's here to read a book for Eleanor. Um, it's uh, written by Eugene Treveus and Helen Oxenberry. It's called The Three Little uh, Wolves and the Big Bad Pig. And um, if you'll recall, a little while ago, you got a video called The uh, Three Little Pigs and the Big Bad Wolf. So if you forgot it, review it. But um, <laughs> I will be the narrator, and the part of the uh, Big Bad Pig will be cra played by Crazy Old Lady, otherwise known as Grandma Rosler. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, once upon a time, there were three cuddly little wolves with soft fur and fluffy tails who lived with their mother. The first was black, the second was gray, and the third was white. One day, the mother called the three little wolves around her and said, my children, it's time for you to go out in the world. It's time for you to go out in the world and uh, go build a house for yourselves and beware of the big bad pig. Oh, don't worry, mother. We'll uh, watch out for him, said the three little wolves, and they set off. Oh, uh, you, you, you need to see the picture. Of course you do. There's the picture of the three little wolves sitting around their mommy in bed. Okay. <clears throat> Soon they met a kangaroo who was uh, pushing a wheelbarrow full of red and yellow bricks. Please, will you give us some of your brick bricks, asked the <clears throat> three little wolves. Certainly, said the kangaroo. And she gave them lots of red and yellow bricks. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of bricks. And there they are talking to the kangaroo, asking for the bricks. And then the next picture shows them hard at work building their house out of the bricks. The very next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of bricks that the little wolves had built. The three little wolves were playing croquet in the garden. And when they saw the big, big bad pig coming, they ran inside the house and locked the door. Well, here, here they are playing croquet in the garden, and there's the big bad pig coming up and, and, and seeing them. Oh, big bad pig. Ooh, oh, God. Scary, scary monster. Anyway, uh, the big bad pig knocked at the door, grunted, and... <gasps> Little wolves, little wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chin, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, <laughs> said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed. And he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. So there's the the wolves hiding inside of the house with the big bad pig outside. And there is the big bad pig huffing and puffing, but not succeeding. Ah, the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched a sledgehammer, and he knocked the house down. And the three little wolves only just managed to escape before the bricks uh, crumbled, and they were very frightened indeed. Anyway, there's, there's the, the pig with a sledgehammer knocking down the house, and the three little wolves are just barely escaping there getting out and running for their lives. Um, we shall have to build a stronger house, they said. Just then, they saw a beaver who was mixing concrete. 
in a concrete mixer. Please, will you give us some of your concrete? Asked the three little wolves. Oh, certainly, said the beaver. And he gave them buckets and buckets of full of messy, slurry concrete. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of concrete. So see, there you go. They see the beaver and he's mixing concrete. And then they get their concrete and they're building their house with concrete. Big, strong house. Ah, no sooner had they finished than the big bad pig came prowling down the road. I hear it. Uh, anyway, uh, and saw the house of concrete that the little wolves had built. They were playing battledore and shuttlecock in the garden. And when they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside their house and shut the door. The pig ran, uh, rang the bell and said, Little frightened pig wolves. Oh, I've got to find my part. <laughs> Let me come in. No, 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 said the, the, the three little wolves. By the hair of our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china pot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> and so he huffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. So there's the, 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 the big bad pig slurking as uh, uh, walking down the road anyway. And there they are playing shuttlecock and whatever else they were playing. And the pig is looking over the wall and making his threats to huff and puff and whatever. Ah, but the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his pneumatic drill and smashed the house down. The three little wolves managed to escape, but their chinny-chin chins weren't trem were trembling and trembling and trembling. Three trembles for three pigs or er, wolves. So there's there's the pig with a pneumatic drill busting through the concrete, and there you see the wolves just barely escaping again from the big bad pig. Uh, he needs to blow his nose. Anyway, um, we shall build an even stronger house. They said because they were very determined. Just then they saw a truck coming down the road carrying barbed wire, iron bars, armor plate, and heavy metal padlocks. Please, will you give us some of your barbed wire, a few iron bars, and armor plate, and some heavy metal padlocks? They said to the rhinoceros who was driving the truck. Sure, said the rhinoceros, and he gave them plenty of barbed wire, iron bars, armor plate, and heavy metal padlocks. He also gave them some plexiglass and reinforced steel chains because he was generous and a kind-hearted rhinoceros. So the three little wolves built themselves an extremely strong house. It was the strongest, securest uh, house one could possibly imagine. They felt absolutely safe. So here's the the three little wolves talking to the rhinoceros who was driving the truck with all of these supplies on it. And there they are building the house with iron bars and metal plate and barbed wire and heavy locks and all of those things. So the next day, the big bad pig came prowling around, around the road as usual. The three little wolves were playing hopscotch in the garden. When they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside their house, bolted the door, and locked all 37 padlocks. The pig dialed the video entrance phone and said, Little frightened wolves with the trembling chins, let me come in. No, 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 said the little wolves. 
by the hair of our chinny chin chins, we will not let you come in. Not, not for all, <laughs> not for all the tea leaves in our china pot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed <gasps> and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He bought some dynamite, laid it against the house, lit the fuse. We'll have to see what happens next on the next page. But there's the pig looking over the barbed wire, talking to the wolves. And there he is talking to them on the video phone, making his threats as usual. And the house blew up and the three little wolves just managed to escape with their fluffy tails scorched. And there's this big explosion where he blew up their house. And I, I guess this book is PG. There's the pig. A lot of violence here. A lot of violence. Okay, something must be wrong with our building materials, they said. <laughs> we have to try something different. But what? At that moment, they saw a flamingo coming down uh, along, pushing a wheelbarrow full of flowers. Please, will you give us some flowers, asked the wolves. With pleasure, said the flamingo, and he gave them lots of flowers. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of flowers. There they are talking to the flamingo, and there they are building their house with flowers. That's certainly a new approach for them. All right. Uh, uh, one wall was of marigold, one of daffodils, and one of pink roses, and one of cherry blossoms. The ceiling was made of sunflowers, and the floor was a carpet of daisies. They had water lilies in the bathtub, and buttercups in their refrigerator. So do we, but different kind. It was a rather fragile house and it swayed in the wind, but it was very beautiful. The next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road, saw the house of flowers that the three little wolves had built. He rang the door, the blue, be the blue bell at the door and said, Little frightened wolves with the trembling chins and the scorched tails. Let me come in. <laughs> no, 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 said the little uh, three little wolves. By the hair of our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Well, here is... One of the wolves bathing in the uh, bathtub with the lily pads. And there are the three wolves, I think, reacting to the pig with their little china teapot next to them. Uh, but as he took a deep breath and was ready to huff and puff, he smelled the soft scent of flowers. It was fantastic. And he, and because the scent was so lovely, the pig took another breath and then another. And instead of huffing and puffing, he began to sniff. And he sniffed deeper and deeper until he was quite filled with the fragrant scent. His heart grew tender. And he realized how horrible he had been. Right then, he decided to become a big, good pig. And he started to sing and dance the Tarantella. And there's the pig sniffing. And there he is dancing the Tarantella. I don't know how to dance the Tarantella. I'm sure your mom and dad both do, so ask them. At first, the three little wolves were a bit worried. It might be a trick, 
But soon they realized that the pig had truly changed. So they came running out of the house. They started playing games with him. At first they played ping pong and then piggy in the middle. And when they were all tired, they invited him into the house. And here they are playing probably piggy in the middle. Out with the pig. They're all playing together nicely. They offered him tea and strawberries and wolfberries and asked him to stay with them as long as he wanted. And the pig accepted and they lived happily together ever after. And here they are drinking tea and eating strawberries and wolfberries and being all sorts of friendly. Now there's a moral to this story, I am sure, but I'm I'm not uh, at liberty to divulge it. So, so talk about it amongst yourselves. It's been fun reading to you today, even if I had to put up with the pig. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Bye.